So I'm Matt Stokes. The exhibition is more than a pony show and it's part of We the People Are the Work. Really? Okay, scene four, take one, mark. When I first came to Plymouth, I never set out thinking I was going to make a film in Plymouth about the Plymouth punk scene and live music venues. I started asking people about things which were changing in the city and in particular to the fabric of the city. And people started talking about the development that was happening and how things are being pushed out of the, the city centre and in particular live music venues. The more people I met with, the more different venues got talked about, going as far back as the Van Dyke Club and the Metro Club during the 70s, early 80s, through to today, like the Underground and the Junction. And that was really, I suppose, the seed for the idea behind trying to revisit some of these places with bands reoccupying those spaces and taking over those spaces for a moment, whatever was there or is there now. It wasn't about looking to the past, and saying this is something which has gone and is sort of resigned to the past, but it was much more kind of celebratory than that because the bands who occupy those spaces in many ways represent both the present and, and the future. So it's very much almost, I suppose, a shout of like, yeah, we're still here, you know, we're still going, we're still doing what we do. into the exhibition. There are five screens. On each of the screens at various points in time, they're momentarily occupied by a band. They'll play a track before kind of metaphorically handing a baton on to the next band who play at a, a different site, different location, and then it goes round until everyone has played each of the locations. There's a sort of rise in energy from the first band, the Bus Station Loonies, who play through Suck My Culture, Piss Midget and Dan Rules. And then this sudden kind of come down when Crazy Arm play their acoustic track and lyrically how what they sing about in that track, that works. And that kind of emotional rise and fall for me was something which was quite unexpected. And hopefully that's something that comes across when people view it as well. I think for me, at the end of the day, if the bands in particular felt, in terms of the final piece, that it worked, I think, in many ways, that's the most important thing. And then there's obviously the all the people that I've met along the way during the development of the project, that they kind of see that the project has done something positive. And I think for me, that's, that's always the most kind of important part. Okay.